Okay guys, we're giving away $100 in this video. Okay, you got, we'll start the clock now. This video goes up today when you're watching it high. We'll end it in two days. Well, we'll do two day giveaway and we're gonna give away $100. Follow Ibu Booty who's sponsoring this video. I put their link down below. Follow them on Instagram. Tell them I sent you and they'll pick the winner in two days or a chance for one of you guys to win $100 in Cash App or PayPal or like however you wanna do it. All right guys, let's get on with the drama. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and today's video girl, you won't believe the drama. Rich Lux exclusive. All right guys, so I finally get to record a video with you guys. I'm actually in Las Vegas today working. Let me show you my view here, if I can take you with me. So here it is. Girl, it's n <laughs> there's not much going on out here. So yeah, I just wanna share with you a little view there. Okay, so let's talk because I feel like we need to talk. We're gonna be talking about some Jeffree Star drama. And for those of you in the comment, whatever, shut up, leave me alone. Don't come for me, girl, okay? I'm working out here in Vegas with a beauty brand. They flew me out here. I got how to get COVID tested, girl, just to get on the plane. COVID tested just to land, girl, and work. So I'm finally in my room and I was like, okay, let me record a video. So I only thing I really, there's nothing to do. There's no shows, a lot of stuff is closed, but, I did go to Louis Vuitton, and if you stay to the end of the video, I'll unbox it and then show you what's inside. Okay, so let's talk. Jeffree Star, Drama Girl. Okay. All right, so Jeffree Star tweeted, he said, I'm definitely not sleeping with Kanye West, but the amount of rappers in my DMs is wild, bitch. Time to make a hit song in bed with a laughing emoji. And then he followed up by saying, I'm about to go to my second date with this guy later today. He's a police officer and has the most stunning green eyes. Well, we contacted the police officer with stunning green. I know I'm just joking, you imagine that. But okay, so basically people are like saying, oh my gosh, here he is, Jeffree Star stretching out the drama. And I kind of feel like if you've been following Jeffree Star's career, all right, like this is, this is history right now. It's like, oh, this is a moment. This is a moment, take it in girl. If you've been following Jeffree Star's career, right? He's, and I've said this before, he has like, all these little micro dramas, big dramas, but this one, with the Kanye West rumors, this is literally the biggest scandal he has gotten himself into. This is the biggest scandal that Jeffree Star's ever got into. And then the, the, the funny part is, it wasn't even real. He said that it's not real. He's not messing around, never did anything with uh, Kanye West. Even though he said that, I think he did. I think Jeffree Star did hook up with Kanye West. My opinion, I'm allowed to have one. I think he did, girl. Mm hmm all day long the house. All that to say this, girl. Okay, so people are like rolling their eyes and he keeps stretching out the drum. I think it's smart for him to continue to let this drama keep going and going and going because it's going to basically increase like his engagement online. If you've noticed, major publications picked up the drama with Jeffree Star. So he's feeding into it. He's like playing into it. He's like even joked about it, which I think it shows growth. Because anytime that Jeffree Star made fun, anytime someone has poked fun or made fun of Jeffree Star, probably he kind of like claps back or says something, right? But in this situation, it's showing growth because he's actually laughing at the joke. Like he's also like in on the joke and that makes sense. Now I think he's gonna be involved in another lawsuit, okay? Cause remember this isn't the first lawsuit he's been mentioned in this year already or last year. There's a new lawsuit coming about allegedly that Kris Jenner is going to sue the TikToker who started the rumor. Now that TikToker was making jokes saying that Kris Jenner is gonna sue them and that she's not gonna sue them. It was all jokes, whatever. No, 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 no. Cause Kris Jenner came forward and said, no, I'm gonna sue girl, okay? And so I'm kind of, so in the lawsuit, you already know they're gonna mention this person that Jeffree Star and Kanye West started this rumor and there you go. Jeffree Star is again in another lawsuit. This time, the main person in the lawsuit is gonna be Kris Jenner, Kim Kardashian, Kanye West versus the TikToker because of the rumor with Jeffree Star. So this is even gonna add more popularity to Jeffree Star's name if you want to call that because some people get so offended girl in the comments girl but it's like shut up like whatever don't come for me so just give it give 
this in time. You know, the wheels of justice turn, but they turn slowly, but they turn. And I kind of feel like in a couple weeks, days, few hours, there will be a lawsuit that Emily D. Baker is going to be reading or someone's going to be reading on the internet and they're going to be saying that Jeffree Star is involved in this lawsuit, even though it had nothing to do with it. He's going to be mentioned in the lawsuit because Chris Jenner is going to sue girl. You know, Chris Jenner works hard. Everyone knows that. So let me know what you think about that drama. I do think that it is smart that Jeffree Star continues to talk about like the whole drama that's going on because he knows that all this publicity, this press that he's getting, even Wendy Williams mentioned him, is also just going to further get his name out there more. There are a lot of people who don't know what Jeffree Star is until now. Okay, so now when he releases his next palette, whatever that would be, um, I think people are gonna get interested again. You know, a lot of times we I talk about like celebrities and did they peak? You know, I don't think Jeffree Star has peaked yet. Peak meaning like the epitome, the essence of his career. I don't think it's there yet. I think he's enjoying it and having a great time. So with that being said, let me know what you think about all that drama. Jeffree Star, I think is in a very high moment when his name is just being talked about by so many people. I mean, girl, okay, this opens up Jeffree Star to a new audience. We, we can agree to disagree in the comments down below. We can have a, a respectful conversation about it. So let me think about that. Okay, so I wanna unbox with you this super rare limited edition Louis Vuitton bag. Um, I think this collection is over or about to be over. So first of all, I was like really, like really shook that it was even in the store. So before I do that, I got the new uh, Louis Vuitton candle that came out, you know, I'm part of the candle community. So this one, they said it smells like spring, okay? Now, you know, I'm from Texas, girl, and it's hot as hell in Hooker and Church in Texas, girl. So my spring smells totally different. This, <laughs> if, if the world was a perfect place, this is what, what spring would smell like. It does smell really great, and I do like the scent. I don't know if it's worth $300, but, you know, because I like the candles from the Walmart, girl. You know that mainstays? Oh, love so much but this is really great i felt a little bad and bougie to celebrate me working out here with this brand okay so which i can't mention because shut up i can't mention it got contracts ndas or whatever all right i'm just like stuck in my hotel room all right so here it is let's see what oh my gosh okay ah okay you're gonna be shook girl okay for those of the, for those of you who are oh my god for those of you who are still here give the video a like Okay, leave a little, leave a little hate comment, bro. Okay, because y'all say I delete comments. I do not delete comments. Why would I delete comments, girl? I can't get a comment to save my life. So why would I delete a comment, girl? Like whatever. Okay, here it is. So this is the box. We're gonna open it. Oh my gosh! This I think this is the the Christmas wrapping paper. Okay. Those of you who don't know, like I love these right here because if you don't know, you can just like pull this right here and it collapses the box so it's like super paper thin. So if you don't want it to look this big, you can just like pull that little thing and it's like super, super flat. Okay, so. It'll Louis Vuitton A some more. All right, can you guess what it is? Just by looking at it. Now it's part of the game collection, which this is uh, one of the game collection t-shirts by Louis Vuitton. I, I was like in love with that collection. Okay, this is it. And I know so many of you are gonna be like, oh, I, don't, I didn't like it, but this one I really do like. Take it all in, girls. Take it all in the house. So it's the toiletry pouch by Louis Vuitton. I'm gonna open it up here. You can see the inside. And I like this material because if you like spill like makeup on it or get any type of like liquid, you can just like wipe it off. You can't do that with a lot of their stuff. So basically this product already exists with Louis Vuitton. They just kind of like stamp the game collection piece on there. And so that I'm really excited because the Louis Vuitton game collection is my favorite collection that they come out with in a very, very long time. So much that here is a t-shirt. The t-shirt also comes in white with the same color, just like in white. Um, I just love it. Like it rem reminds me of the Takashi Murakami collection that came out like so many years ago. And I don't think people understand that. Like girl, this is as close as a Takashi Murakami collection that we've gotten in a long time. Like, I freaking love that collection. And it came in black and white too. And the game collection comes in black and white too. So that's why I freaking love it. So anyways, this is the bag. It's super, super cute. And I mean, ah, let me know what you think about it. And uh, yeah. All right, guys. 
I just want to say thank you for watching my video and don't forget about the giveaway that we're going to be doing. And uh, thank you guys for watching and just subscribing. Thank you for the privilege of your time. You can check me out on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, down here on YouTube is where I kind of hang out. I started a second channel. Uh, it's called Rich Luck Shopping, which basically I just go shopping if you want to send me shop, whatever. So that's pretty much it. But anyways, let me know what you think about that drama and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, love you so much.